right, this is a tutorial on how to do uh, the Veeam Backup Free Edition. Uh, now I already back up my virtual servers uh, with various backup methods, uh, but you just can never have too many backups. Uh, so what I wanted to do was be able to just create a backup of a snapshot of one of my VMs uh, that I can just put on some off-site storage, um, and should I ever need it, be able to restore uh, back to my environment and I found that the beam backup free edition uh, is perfect for this so what you want to do is go to their website and you'll download the free download it's a fairly large download um, and then that will download to an ISO file so you'll just need to burn that to a uh, DVD and once you burn it to the DVD, your file structure will look like this. You'll just run the setup, and um, it will be a, a fairly long setup process uh, as it is quite a, a large file. But anyway, <clears throat> once you've got it installed, you'll want to launch the Veeam Backup and uh, Replication Center. And I just signed on using my network credentials. Okay, so once you get signed in, uh, what you're going to want to do is uh, we use VMware. So I just added uh, my vCenter host. Uh, so I just uh, went into here and I did add server and I input the IP address of our vCenter host. And after a little bit of time uh, of doing that, uh, eventually all of my machines populated here. <clears throat> so now I'm basically set up and I can create my backup uh, that I want. So uh, for this instance, um, what I'll do is I will right click on the one that I want to back up and you can do, a, I just go to the C backup folders. So I do a Veeam zip uh, to my C backup folder and this will allow me to copy it uh, to wherever I want to. So the backup has started and uh, it will take uh, a little while for this because these files can be fairly large considering it's a full virtual server. So you'll just let this run uh, until completion. And uh, once this is finished, I'll start the video on how to restore the file. Okay, my backup finally completed. Uh, it looks like it took uh, just a little bit over two hours for that to uh, successfully uh, complete. So now let's go ahead and talk about a restore. Um, this is a uh, server right here, this one called CAD image um, that I backed up previously, just like I did um, the last one. Uh, but because my last one is a production one, I'm not gonna delete that, uh, but I will delete this one. So I'm just gonna go in here and do a delete from disk. And uh, just to make sure, we'll even go into the uh, data store um, that it is on. And let's go ahead and open this up here. Okay, so it is deleted from my data store. Okay, so now let's go ahead and we'll open back up uh, the Veeam software here. While that's opening up, we'll go ahead and um, We'll see how much that compressed that file down to that we just backed up. So originally it was about uh, 100 gigs or so. And uh, okay, so we got down to about 25 gigs. So pretty good compression right there. All right, so now I want to go in and I want to restore a server. So I'm gonna go in to home and then restore. I'm gonna to browse to the backup file that I created and it's right here. So we'll just go ahead and hit open. I'll take just a second for it to process here. Okay, so then I'll just go ahead and click on it, hit restore. It's going to ask me what where I want to restore it and I'm going to just go ahead and restore the entire uh, VM including the registration. Go 
ahead and hit next here. I'm going to restore it to its original location. If you wanted to restore it to a different location, you could do that as well. Um, so I'll just go ahead and hit next here. And you can give it a reason if you want. I'm just, so it's going to be a test restore. Next. And then you can give it the uh, option to power on the VM after restoring. I'm just going to go ahead and leave that blank. Uh, I'll power it on manually myself and I'll hit finish. And now it will go through the process of uh, restoring that uh, virtual server. Now this will take um, a good amount of time. Uh, I think it's probably going to be around two hours or so. Uh, so I'll just let that run and uh, I'll return once it's finished. Okay, so the uh, restore finally finished, and you can see our machine is back here. Uh, now we can just go in and power it back on. Open the console. And we can see everything is coming back up. So that's all there is to the restore.